So I have made it to Saranda, Albania. I drove here this morning from Tirana, rented a car. I will be here for the rest of the day today, then tomorrow, and the day after that, I will head back to Tirana. Um, so I will show you guys what I do while I'm here. But first, I wanted to show you guys my hotel room, which I normally don't do. But the reason I wanted to show you it to you was because the view, just straight out from the window, is amazing. And it's quite an inexpensive hotel. So let me show you basically from the opening. So here's the door, standard, whatever bathroom is pretty standard um i have a mess of all of my stuff but you know <laughs> uh, the bed and then coming out here there is an amazing view on this balcony there's some construction going on so hope it's not too loud So the first place I decided to go to was the Blue Eye here in Saranda kind of area. It's around a 30 minute drive from the main city center, I guess, of Saranda. And the Blue Eye is a water spring that is around 50 meters deep, but no one really knows because you can't like go all the way to the bottom and it like stays cold and it's really, really pretty like blue color. Um, but to be completely honest, it was a little bit anticlimactic because I have heard quite a bit about the blue eye since I have been in Albania and been watching other travel vlogs and blog posts and stuff like that. I've seen it mentioned quite a bit. Um, again, it's 30 minutes outside of the area, so basically an hour driving total to get here. Um, and it's just a blue little, I don't know, thing, a little thing of water. And it is really pretty. But there were so many people there, I think that kind of ruined it a bit for me. I know a tourist complaining about tourists, how hypocritical. <laughs> um, yeah, and they had all these like tourist stands and like selling different stuff and restaurant, whatever. So you could spend some time over here, I guess. But I was just kind of like, there's not really, besides eating, which I already ate, not really that much to do here. Just kind of come, look at it. I stuck my feet in the water. Yes, it is cold. But besides that... I don't know, I don't think it should be as hyped up as a lot of people say it is. day two for me here in Saranda. Um, so this morning I am going to this place called Bootrent or something like that. It's a national park. Um, but first there is a castle called Ali Pasha Castle, um, which if you watched my video in where Hamara, I went to the other castle I thought was the Ali Pasha Castle. It is not. I'm going there now. But I'm not actually sure if I'm going there because my GPS told me to turn and it was basically just like a parking lot and then there's like a walking path but there was no sign or anything so I just parked <laughs> got out and now I'm walking to what I think is the Ali Pasha castle but I don't actually know if it is because there's no signs or anything so we'll see so I was right I'm walking towards the Ali Pasha castle it's about a 20 minute walk from where you can park I'm almost there now technically you cannot reach it you can just see it from the land because it's like a completely separate kind of island, I guess you could say. But I just saw two bunkers, or I'm seeing two bunkers as I'm walking towards the castle. So I wanted to show them and explain them very quickly. So here are two bunkers. So if you come to Albania, you will see these bunkers everywhere, especially outside of Tirana. Um, Tirana, they do have like a couple as a museum, but generally in the city, they're not there. But other cities, there are tons of them. They are from when Albania had their communism period and their dictator and Rahoja, from my understanding, was like scared of Albania just like being attacked. And so he built like 
literally like thousands of these <laughs> all over the country um, in case Albania was attacked. And I think Saranda might be the city that has the most bunkers in all of Albania. I read that somewhere. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but I actually see another one that I'm walking towards now. So there are a lot of bunkers here in Albania, but most of them are like in ruins and stuff now. I decided to skip going to Butfrit, Butfrit, I don't remember how you say it, because um, I'm a little bit limited on time and the real reason to come to Saranda is to see the beaches. I'm now in Kusumil, I think that's how you say it, at a beach here. Um, and there's another beach I might go to called Mir Beach. I've heard the drive is kind of sketchy, so I'm deciding if I want to go there or not. So I'm gonna spend some time here at this beach. Maybe I'll move over. I'll go to Butfrit or whatever <laughs> if I have time, but probably not because around us for beaches so I'm probably gonna stick with the beaches today. back to my hotel room for like an hour because I brought my Kindle to Saranda so I could sit on the beach and read and then when I got there and pulled it out of my backpack it was dead um, which I don't know recently with my Kindle I've been having issues where like I won't turn it on and it just turns on automatically and just like drains all the battery and then when I actually go to use it the battery's dead um, so I came back to my hotel to charge it um, and then I'm gonna go to Mirrors Beach now now that it has a little bit of charge so I can sit on that beach and read um, I did I did read online and talk to an Albanian to confirm that the drive to Mirrors Beach is a little bit sketchy once you get closer so I'm going to try to park a little bit farther up because I just driving in Albania scares driving in general I'm not a huge fan of driving in Albania scares me um, so we're gonna try to do that, hope it goes well, and check out this beach. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights I've actually been here for a little bit um, with my drone, just been laying <laughs> on the sand rocks, I don't know, um, for like an hour, just reading my book, enjoying the waves, everything. Um, the beach is actually not very busy at all, much less busy than the Kusamil beach. I was able to park like pretty early on before the ride got kind of sketchy, and then I walked the rest of the way. I mean, I, it was like less sketchy than I thought it was going to be. But I am so glad that I parked up top just so I feel more comfortable. Something that I've realized since I've been in Saranda is how like scared I am of like roads that aren't paved well and just like driving up hills on unpaved roads and just like everything. It's been so sketchy this whole trip. So um, I'm glad that I still parked up at the top. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down
Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground back to my hotel for the evening and tomorrow I am heading back to Tirana very early in the morning so this is going to be the end of this video and my time in Saranda if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see the rest of my travels around Albania and beyond thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye if I Falling down, I will keep on searching for my high